I used to buy Jewish books, um, and I uh, I bought the Penguin Anthology of Yiddish verse when it was published, which I, I guess was, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, I don't remember. I bought it and put it on a shelf. And uh, one day, about 10, 12 years ago now, for no reason that I can remember, I took it off the shelf and I started looking through it. And uh, I saw, well, there, there, were, there are names in it that I, I recognized the names, parrots, and, and um, it's a uh, other other names that I just recognized. Uh, and there was uh, uh, Itzik Munger, whom I'd never heard of. But my eye just fell on the poems. And uh, Munger writes in a, uh, largely in a ballad form, very traditional form with a vocabulary that's not a difficult vocabulary. Uh, he, he reminds me of uh, Heine, whom I read a lot of, and Hausmann. Uh, uh, so I, I was able to follow, uh, to follow him, and I was really really taken by the quality of the poetry. And uh, I started hearing translations in my head. And uh, uh, I, uh, I memorized verse easily. So it was easy for me to uh, in fact, I would almost, uh, without any effort, get the Yiddish poem into my head and then start hearing translations, which I wrote down. And uh, I remember particularly Munger's poem, Chava and Der Appelboim, Even the Apple Tree, uh, that I... Uh, uh, I, at the time I read it, I had, uh, for some reason, I had to go to Gananaqui, which is uh, a town about an hour and a half from Ottawa. And I remember driving across country to Gananaqui and uh, the translations just coming into my head, and I, I remembered the translation. When I got through the trip, I wrote it. I wrote it down. I had a translation of even the apple tree. Fortunately, I wasn't picked up by the Ontario Provincial Police for, for driving while under the influence of a poem. It, it, it would have been trouble. Uh, the reason, the thing that impressed me most about, still impresses me about even the apple tree. Uh, uh, you know, you know, Paradise Lost. I don't know if you've read it. Uh, more people know it than have read it. Uh, but I've read it. And Dr. Samuel Johnson once said, uh, Paradise Lost, nobody ever wished that it was longer. And uh, what impressed me about even the apple tree was that I thought in uh, seven or eight stanzas, Munger had told the whole story that John Milton took uh, uh, thousands of lines to write uh, that, that's, uh, 
really what impresses me about Munger is the precision and the concision, the way he, the way he gets a story and a meaning into just a few lines. And I really loved that. And I kept on doing translations of Munger. I've translated into English uh, all of Munger's Bible poems and a lot of his other poems.